Let's do smoky things. Oh smoky no, things. no, do that. Yep. Well, the unboxing can be quite funny because it, this is a smoky thing. It's very bare, so I need to get it open for this. Let's unbox it. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, I committed. I've got brought my best special scissors. This seemed like a good idea when I said that, didn't it? Is this the vetiver that we spelt? Yes. It's arrived from India. And unboxing things from India is always excellent fun because, blimey, they know how to wrap. So. Yeah, this is yeah, great. And it was due on, uh, it was due on the 31st, which is next week, at time of writing. So it turned up yesterday, which is six days early, six days early, which is nice, okay. Documents for consignee, that would be me. So that's the, it's not too bad. The certificate of analysis and the, the terms of delivery. The patchouli's here as well, but that's downstairs. And another one and a further layer and a lot of sellotape. I'm not sure this is the most interesting thing I've ever done also. Well, it's, I don't think it's any less interesting than any other unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other sort of fast forward through the tricky bits, or they just yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> this, this is endurance unboxing. We um, th these videos are for people with stamina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, I also like how the bottle's clearly too big for the box. Yeah. So it's been so I say where I stop. Okay, I only really need time to think of it. If I'm actually being sensible about this, I only really need to get that bit open to yeah. think. Yeah, you do. We can separate for recycling later. Okay, several layers of yellow tape. Merry Christmas. So yeah, so what's happened is that I've started buying some things directly from India because I've, I've, I've been discovered by the Indian producers and even though I, I don't negotiate down, sometimes, sometimes it costs less, sometimes it costs the same than from buying through a supplier who's buying a lot more. Hey, we're in. yeah, you're right, that doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. that, that not standing our way. Um, oh, that bit was easy, um, because I think that the producers, the producers, the producers should just get the money. Now that's why really it should have come into it. See that dent. Mm -hmm. That's why it's packed in aluminium and not glass. But really, it could have come in a slightly bigger. All right, here now. Here's the other. This this stuff. Harry got some of mm. this ones. Um, it's kind of waxy. Mm. I yeah, I am. Um, I have. Real, you know, I chew mastic gum. Yes. Well, the only yeah you do. Yeah, yeah. It's like tree resin stuff. Okay. Um, but I, the only place really you could get it, you can get it really is Amazon, and I refuse to use Amazon. So I found this wonderful supplier from Greece, mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it's a lot cheaper for a lot better quality stuff. Yeah. But also, I just think it's nice to go to, it's like when I go out food shopping, I would rather go to all the shops down Electric Avenue, mm -hmm. the green grocer, and then go to the shop that sells all the nuts, and then go to, rather than go to a supermarket where it's all in one place. It's just something about going to specialists that I think is better. And so I quite like the idea of going to yeah. source and go, well, I get my, where, where'd you get that from? Oh, I get that from here. And I get that from here. And I get yes. that from here. Yeah, I, I had a, a chat once, I was talking to Ruth Marstenbrook, mm -hmm. a master perfumer 
in the UK and she, I said, oh, have you smelt this? I got it. And she said, where'd where you get that? And I said, oh, I met these suppliers that they were in cosmetics and they're from Colombia and they grow these materials up different levels of the Andes mountains where they have different, and she said, you source your own materials. And I was thinking, well, how does everyone else do it? And what, what you do if you are sort of, I'd say, independently employed as a perfumer, but not what I call any indie, like us, like we kind of just start from scratch and learn in the garage, like, like indie bands. I'm just getting the thing off this, but out of sight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, what happens is that she uses a compounding house of much bigger perfumery and she will make her fragrances out of whatever it is that they have. But they, I, I actually contacted them once about making a thing and said, uh, would you make this for me? And they said, no, we don't stock this, 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 and this essential oils. I said, well, um, could I supply them to you? And they said, no, we don't want to add them to our inventory. So a lot of companies, even if the perfumers are independent, as an independent company, they, they can't... There we go. Because they get it done with uh, compounding houses. Yeah, so they, they can't just go out and go, right, I've decided to use this one, will you add it to your system, will you stop this and so you can make this fragrance. So it um, tends to be a little bit, sometimes, less adventurous. That you're not going to go... Hey, why don't you go to India and source this? <laughs> well, oh, that, yeah. Because no, no, we're happy with the one we've got, and I, I do understand that because to an extent, I don't really want to add a lot of um, new materials to it. my palette, as they say. Oh, that is just. It's just so... lovely, isn't it? And the reason that I I got it out today was to talk really about the. Um, Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to talk about. Smoky things. Because uh, we're on the next subject that I'm covering on the... It's been a while since we said what this was, by the way. It's vetiver. It's vetiver, yeah. Made by the boss. BOS Natural Flavours. Um, production date, the 6th of May, 2022. <laughs> so, wow. they just made it right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, wow. I'm still... Coughing because of trees. Yes. Sorry, yeah, so you were saying. It's from Cochin. Um, yeah, I was saying something, but then I smelt this and I've got Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, smoky. It's smoky month. Mm hmm. It's smoky <laughs> month on the Patreon, is it? <coughs> Excuse me, yes. This is not this that's making me cough. It is um, trees. I've tested negative again. I go out and I smell a tree and I get pollen. It doesn't, I'm not allergic to it. I mean, I you know, my eyes don't go poppy and honey, but just the odd tree at the moment has made me sneeze. But I don't mind mm. because it's spring and the swifts are here and uh, I'll, take, I'll take the odd snivel from tree. Yeah. Highly concentrated, not for direct human consumption. This is true. Uh, yeah, that's a thing we were talking about this week. Uh, yeah, Nick's cousin was over. She's... Trained as an aromatherapist, mm -hmm. and uh, she's remembered when I saw her eleven years ago that she was talking about aromatherapy and essential oils. And I said, "Careful with those things; they're blinking dangerous." And she she was so intrigued by this idea that she looked it up and ended up qualifying as an aromatherapist. Wow. And she was just saying how awful it is that there are these multi level multi level marketing people, you know, out there saying, "Oh yes, you should drink essential oils; they're so good for you." Mm -hmm. like, such a terrible idea. I do hope nobody ever takes that little bit of the film and cuts it out and has <laughs> yeah. me quoting that. Um, White birch. Yes! <laughs> Spot on, Arthur. White birch at 2%. Bearing in mind we were just sniffing a tiny bit of vetiver at 100. Mm. Much softer. White birch. It just smells as if you've set fire to something. Not to be confused with sweet birch, which is banned. And also smells very medicinal. Sweet Why is it banned? Just just too dangerous on the skin. Hmm. Yeah. Um, white birch is just it's just a wood burning fire, isn't it? 
It's it's like that, yeah. I I mean it's it's uncanny. People ask for the smell of tobacco smoke and they sort of can't get it. I know of someone who had actually he did a it's like a tincture or a, a an enfleurage, I think, of smoke in that he he burnt a thing and put it inside a vat of oil so that the oil could absorb the aroma. And while you can get the smell, it's probably not something you'd want to put on your skin because as soon as you set fire to stuff, not always good things happen. Uh, <coughs> as we know, it's not the nicotine that gives you cancer. Mm -hmm. That's just addictive. It's the smoke. Talking of nicotine, or rather nicotine-free, this is one tobacco absolute, and this one is the Virginiana, and you don't need a lot. Golden Virginia. Oh yeah. Lovely. So, mm. even the tiniest of tiny amounts on the end of the strip, you can if that comes. Oh yeah, I remember the days. <laughs> Smoking 50 roll-ups yeah. Open a just new, before breakfast. New packet of tobacco. The, the smell of a new packet of tobacco is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, which is it's the reason I all of these lovely things should go straight into um, perfume and not be smoked. Mm -hmm. Complete waste of tobacco smoking it, I think. So I, agree. I, think, I, I think I'm six years this year. Yeah. Six years no smoking. I remember when you packed it up and you could smell everything a lot better. Yeah. It was a real... I yeah. think it's a good thing that you were hanging around a perfumery at the time. <laughs> yeah, it was really obvious. It yeah. Was, it's like, oh wow, I'm getting my smell back. I'm taking a lot off this because I, I don't, I don't more of it. You see, this is, even that, that's a lot darker in the tiny amount. Mm -hmm. This is a Turkish tobacco and you think it's so just don't hold that one so close to your nose because you don't need it. Oh yes. It's it's, it's interesting oh, isn't it? it's, it's just lovely. It's yeah. lovely. This I smells, like this one more. Yes. This smells more ambery to me. It smells sweeter. Oh yes. Yeah the, this one. The strawberry furanone in tobacco leaves. So. And that smells like toffee. The first one is like that's a that's blue that's yellow drum that is and this that is cutter's choice. <laughs> I don't know my tobacco brands but I expect lots of them are blended, aren't they? But yeah. Oh that is so nice. Yeah, well I've got a small amount of the Virginia and I've got a lot of the Turkish. The last one was called Turkish Blonde, which seemed like like a, a 1950s description, or like, like you know, a Bond villain. <laughs> that again. Um, right. But the actual smell of tobacco smoke, uh, I'm not sure that's reproducible legally in a perfume, just before oh, it really? asks. Yeah. Because smoky things just tend to be very restricted. I have... A very yeah, smoky that, veteran. That and yeah. I'm smelling that and the white birch together and that is that is smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. it um it's not legally because you don't want to glorify. I th I think well that's legal, so I, I think um we d one doesn't advertise these things. I mean, we're certainly not telling people that we think it's a good idea to smoke. No. We think it, but it's a very good idea to use these materials. Aha, uh -huh, I've just reached. Okay, so this is... I need to turn the little Dalek off again. Um, this is a vetiver, which is from Java. And it's one that I particularly wanted because of the aroma, but I can only use a tiny amount because it's got a material in it called furfural, and furfural is carcinogenic because nature is wonderful um, but this particular vetiver is much more smoky than that one you can probably yeah 
It is. But I liked it because I wanted the smoky one, but and it doesn't take a lot, you know. I don't, I don't use a great deal of it. There is always, there is always something in vetiver, always for me. Mm -hmm. That don't get me wrong, I smell it and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. But there's a big, uh, there's an element of, there's a creaminess in vetiver that is slightly sickly to me. Mm -hmm. It does. It can smell a little bit ashtray. Yeah. A bit, a bit yesterday's party. Because people don't have ashtrays anymore. Mm-mm. Well, so I'm sure you expect I suppose, I would imagine smokers do, people, but, like, they're not around everywhere like they used to be in, mm -hmm. like, corporate meeting rooms. There'd be ashtrays everywhere for all yeah. the, you know, the meetings yeah. with all the smokers coming in. But, you know, this one's... Less smoky. I think that that is a very, very good buy. That new one. It's spectacular. I like all these colours. Uh, now, other things. There is. What's this one? This one. Or no, this, this yeah. one. Ah, right. So that is a, what I've got. I've got a very small amount of this left because I just. I used to use it for trying to draw the raffle numbers. Mm. This is Betty Bear Absolute. So, different method, and it smells kind of deeper and richer than the essential oil. And the reason that I have it is because Liz Moore's once bought, from Papillon, bought Vetiver Absolute by mistake instead of Vetiver Essential Oil and said, do you need it? So I bought it off her. Because <laughs> it was in the, I don't, I don't know. I don't know you just smell the cap. Back. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. Now. Got some. Yeah, so it's like fascinating films in which I stick paper down something and get mm -hmm. nothing. It's all a bit goopy. Oh. Goopy? Goopy. Now that. Mm hmm. I can't tell if it smells darker if I'm just imagining it because I can see it. That is, that, it doesn't have, you know, I just said that all vetivers always have this creamy, sickly note to me. This doesn't have it. You're right. This does not smell anything like an ashtray. No, it's a lot, um, I think it's brighter. And softer. It's a lot softer. Mm. Different method of production. Mm. It's much low temp much lower temperature and you get different bits out of it. All the absolutes are thicker and darker than all the essential oils. I'm gonna have to I mean this is old. I might have to buy some more. I haven't made a batch. It was just I just grabbed it for the purposes of Right. Couple more things. So, this, I would say, and this is, a, this is still fairly close to the top, so I won't spend ages dipping to see if I can reach it, because I'm there. So I'd like you to smell this and see what you think. I've discovered that you don't need very much of this in a fragrance to make its presence felt. So, mm. Tiny amounts. Mmm. Cedar. Virginia. Virginian cedar. This. No, wait, Virginian cedar is, <laughs> is pencils, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is oak moss. No, it's not. This is Labdenham. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, it's sisters, which is from the same plant. Right. Whereas the labdanum is like the tears, and mm -hmm. sisters absolute is made from the um, uh, uh, the twigs. I prefer this to labdanum to what I remember. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you something as well. Then this, but this one is I've got two different sisters lab labdanum. Well, it's, it's that's the plant name, sisters labdanifera. But the sisters absolutes I have two of them, and one of them is more kind of leathery and uh, 
leathery. This one smells more singed to me. It's as mm. if you've taken sort of the labdanum tears and heated them up to melt them, but they, you, you forgot to take them off the heat and they've gone a bit crispy. Mm. So it just it just feels like it's been close to a fire. It's, it's very incensey for me. But this yeah. one's called Sisters SEV, and it's from Albert Vier. And I asked the suppliers, so they, they used to be distributed in the UK, they're now not for reasons. But I <laughs> so I get it from France, and I asked IES, what does the SEV stand for? And they went away and they came back and they said, no one remembers. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been producing it for so long, it's just been called Sisters SEV. But it could be that it's from Seville. It could be originally it was bought through Seville because lots of it comes from Spain. This one is produced in um, somewhere. Doesn't say. Anyway, it's from Albert Vieille. Uh, and I cannot see if it says country of origin. I can see that it doesn't. Okay, but it's not important. I have one more thing. Okay, two more things. I must have weapons. Um, we have. Uh, okay, this is this is something I got in. I haven't used it yet, and I haven't decided what to do with it. But I think I might use it for this month's formula. For the and I would pull this thing, but I know that these things tend to. Break. Okay, mm. didn't break. Um, this I got all the way from Perfumer's Apprentice in the US, which is annoying because it's produced in France by Roberté, but Roberté in the UK don't sell raw materials. Huh. Although I might be able to get them from France, we'll eventually we'll speak to them. That's where Roshni works now, anyway. Mm. So we might be able to have a chat. Yeah, okay. So this is called Voix d'Ensemble. Mmm, um, frankincense. Yes, but I believe it to be a co-distillation of frankincense and a thing. I should look it up. I think it's cedar. Oh, yes. I mean, you could just dilute that and wear it. Mm. Very happily. Yeah. I've just actually, speaking of supplies and things, from the, my Greek supplier for the, my, my mastic gum. Mm. I bought all sorts of some food grade frankincense. Oh yes, to chew. I have some of that. I, I, it, it does. It's great at first, and then it really sticks to your teeth. And you have to kind of scrape it off. Yeah. But it's very good for, for curing sore throats. Mhm. Mm so what I think we're sort of into is materials. I'm mostly talking about naturals. I know there are some tobacco synthetics, and one thing I didn't bring up was that. The Tabarome by Cinerome. Uh, we talked about it. It's a, mm -hmm. It smells like a just like a gentleman's club, like bottled gentleman's club. It's it's that one. We smelt that, and Roshni just couldn't bear it. I mean, she found it absolutely disgusting. I think it's lovely, <laughs> but I didn't bring that. But when we're in the region of tobacco and smoky things, I've gone off completely now into incense because. The whole smoke and incense and those things that are burnt in order to create fragrant smoke. <coughs> Pardon me. For me, <coughs> bless you. Pardon me. They, they, they take me into the area of smokiness. Yeah. They don't actually smell of smoke. No, but they, they remind you of it because that's what's, yeah. you know, because you set fires to them. I'm not sure if this should be in the, this pile, but I brought it anyway. Oh, yeah, that's... um. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing. Cipriol, isn't it? the one that I just another one that I got from yeah. from India from M L Ramnarain. Yes, I was talking to them this week. And every time you have a phone call with um, M L Ramnarain, you can hear the 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 scooters all beeping each other outside the windows. It's like you're in India. That's great. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, I don't know if this fits in the, with this group. It's not really. Smoky, but it's uh, sort of incensey, and therefore, it, in my head, it goes with smoke. 
Where are they? Where's this company based? Uh, they're in Kannauj. It is a tiny little place in India, fairly close to Delhi. In the, in the, it, it, if he needs a visa, he has to go to Delhi to get it. Um, that's the closest place that will give you a rubber stamp. Uh, uh, so if you wanted to visit, you go to Delhi first. But it's a small town where there are just a lot of distillers. Should we go? <laughs> yeah. I mean, company it. trip. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go. We'll go to Canada. Well, there's a load of there's a load of distillers there. Yeah. Well, then we have to. I we simply we must. All right. Imagine, imagine what it smells like there. Just ever. That's where I got the rose ottos, or the rose um, attar, and the nitty yeah. attar, and the saffron. Yeah, okay. And that needs to happen. Yeah. It's only responsible to go and visit your suppliers. I think, I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> I've got a trip to, uh, somebody wants me to go to uh, Bulgaria to, to visit Rose Place. Oh, yes. Then Calabria, and yeah, that. This is the one that I can't put down, the Cipriol, also known as Nagaramota. For me, it's this co-distilled frankincense. Mm. That wins my heart today. Yeah, the boy dancers. Mm. Anyway, so we'll be making something out of this. All, all of these, isn't it? All of, these? All of them. Ooh. That's my favourite noise for today. Okay. Mm, they look pretty. Um, yes. Okay, that's that's June's June's challenge making the. Isn't it smoky? 